Hello, this is Avalano and this is Digimon World 2003. I'd like to apologise a bit for this first video for two reasons. Uh, it's been like 10 months but been really busy with university. And uh, when I got recording it, I forgot which um, compressor, compressor I used with Hypercam and I picked the wrong one which uh, resulted in the footage going twice as fast. But this will just be for this video. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's been 10 months busy with university and uh, due to other stuff. Uh, this is the first opportunity I've had to do any more of the Let's Play. <laughs> but I did promise that I would finish this game and I will stick to that word. And to begin with, we're doing the... Uh, Finishing the card side quest, uh, this will actually take a little bit of a while because this is only part of part of it. Doing the uh, Etamon uh, Jewel Island side quest. What? But once this is over, and uh, once I get all the well, once I get five Digimon to level forty-five and get the legendary weapons, which I will show in. Uh, subsequent videos we'll move on to the post game but anyway like I said we're at the cards uh, Etmon card side quest the first opponent here is the uh, Amaterasu white master but its deck isn't that strong for uh, this point in the game and uh, uh, since this is kind of like uh, an earlier save, uh, I'll explain exactly what point of the game I'm at. I'm at the point where you've saved uh, Amaterasu's servers, uh, all the uh, NPCs in the Amaterasu server, but you ha I haven't went back to uh, the Asuka server master room because uh, that had kind of stopped me. Uh, completing the si card side quest uh, and by completing it I mean I'm going to also get all the special cards in the game uh, and I will uh, record videos for each one of those as well which I will show because uh, I like my videos to I'd, I'd like this let's play to be uh, informative uh, it's sort of like a video more like a video walkthrough which is what I like with uh, Let's play specifically anyway, because I uh, don't like it. Though it's just my personal opinion, I don't really like blind playthroughs, because uh, especially if it's if they're playing a game that you're uh, sort of stuck on, it's not much help if you don't if you have got if someone's uh, got as much clue of what to do as you do <laughs> if you were stuck in the game. But that's just that. And like I said, the, the opponents here aren't that tough. Also, it's quite apparent how slow this uh, the card game actually flows. Because this is supposed to be at like double speed, but it's so slow. Might just be my laptop though, because uh, it's started to get like sort of bad. Uh, in fact, like, there's something up with the fan as well as probably hard drive stuff. Uh, it crashes from time to time while playing uh, uh, the uh, EPXE games. Uh, and it's crashed quite a few times while being recording <laughs> stuff like this, which makes it a bit annoying, but... Um, I, I will make sure I will do get this all done. <laughs> uh, I'll probably be at the post game part in uh, I'm not too sure how long. Uh Patamon, Gilmon and Kumamon are all at level forty five uh, currently but uh dunno what the where at the point this video was recorded but they're at 45, uh, I've got Monmon to level 30 and Cottonmon's around like 
level 7 or 10 or something so once I get Cottonmon and Monmon to level 45 I'll be able to uh, get the legendary weapons and once I've got all, once I've got the cards uh, once I've got the cards and the legendary weapons I'll move on to post game uh, there is some sort of there's a few things I want to show for post game because there's some silly stuff and uh, mostly due to the translation uh, you'll see in a while but for now it's a card quest uh, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time